Hey, the bugs is rustling back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown, extended, beautiful family, just thank you so much for just supporting yourselves, being able to take like a piece of my, the meaning of my videos and being able to place it upon your journey just to put some kind of understanding to the crazy situations we're in and why you know um and making sense of why we go through the things we gotta go through so i'm blessed that i can be able to help with that so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl is about to upload the next video also if you're comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up, tell me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video gave you good vibes or, you know, good information that you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for the love and support that you're giving me. It's so greatly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, let me turn it up a little bit so y'all can be able to hear it. It's kind of quiet. But um, it's called Super Conscious Binarial Beats to Activate Brain Waves. Fast Hyper Gamma Waves 3D Deep Meditation. And I will post that link in the description box below it got it's like all this is like vibrating <laughs> and there goes some lights again um today my video is about twin flame 101 understanding your spiritual evolution um i was reading something over um it was like huffington post i think that's what it was it was this deep 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 uh story well, basically facts um, that I was reading about because I was wondering why, you know, spiritual evolution was, you know, sticking out to me the other day. So I had to write that down. I was like, OK, this is something they want me to talk about. And it was like I seen this paragraph and it really stuck out to me. It's like uh, we are not human beings having a spiritual experience, but we are spiritual beings having a human experience. And that's what we are really. We truly are. But a lot of us don't get, gain that concept of that. You know, um, when we always putting, you know, our love into materialistic things, you know, when you get to the 5D, you know, those those worldly things does not really matter. And it's just like there are basically we we're, we're trying to heal the parts of us that are hurting and um, the unresolved issues that we deal with. You have to be able to love no matter what. And, you know, and it's a bad thing because we we sit up here and we judge everything. You know, sometimes it's consciously or unconsciously we do stuff like that and it's like you have to be able to love every aspect of everything knowing that we connect on anything that we're you know we're here for you know uh there's a lot of people that you know he was they were basically saying there's a lot of people that had a song to sing inside themselves and never did you know they hum it to themselves instead of actually expressing it they kept it to themselves wishing when they part ways with this universe that they did do all these these things they needed to do so it's just like really crazy how well we have to go amongst people you know we have that that duty a part of our ourselves we have a certain situation that we're you're here for um putting meaning to our lives not you know people feel like when you have more money you have more power and more of this and that's like thinking worldly you know um you can be a poor man and be highly educated loving towards everything don't cast judgment and that person will be more powerful than a person with billions of dollars just because the fact is he's not worried about the you know the worldly things he's being able to go past judgment seeing people for who they truly are always trying to find the loving with them no matter what if they're rude or they're you know got an attitude with you they still find that that part of them that is loved and we can when we heal on every aspect of our lives we can be able to understand why people are the way they are you know trying to help them find their happiness and it's not you know over materialistic things it's not the things that you have in your life 
it's like because if all these things were wiped out all these things are wiped out what would you be <laughs> that's why and i was like dad that is so true if there was like we didn't have anything that had to do with currency to get anything what would you actually have you know and it that's that's really a deep thought you know you have to be able to evolve in all aspects of life you know knowing yes there's people out there room there they can be a-holes at times but you have to understand where they're coming from and i had to really read that i was like wait a minute what <laughs> you got to understand exactly where they're coming from and you you know we're we're these spiritual beings they're here to change the world to be able to evolve everybody within love and light being able to express that amongst each other you know we want to make this world a better place but we always cast judgment on people we have divide you know people separate because of people's religion you know not it's just like we look at certain people a certain way like we have people from the you know middle eastern places you know and there's some people like i you know i'm surrounded by them all the time you know they have they have really nice people or whatever but it's just the fact is certain people since the 9 11 thing they'll look at muslims you know or western uh western indians is in that way you're already casting judgment on them just because what certain people have done and just like you know if you're black you have people casting judgment on you because of certain things that happen in their life or white people you know the same thing we're always casting judgment on people and we can if we actually look past that and try to understand and try to press love on with other people you know how contagious that'll be you know and this is what we need in the world because it's too much hell raising around here you know we really do need to be able to evolve like that being able to see ourselves as those spiritual beings knowing we were sent here for a reason we were we were sent here to evolve being able to see people pass judgment being able to find that loving essence within that person you know yeah they might have an attitude but you never knew what they had to go through before they walked out their front door you know there's some people that are like that you know I can be like that and be mad all day <laughs> and it had nothing to do with the people around me it was something that started at home but it's just like we're so quick to cast judgment on people you know and that, that puts us in a really bad spot because you wouldn't want nobody casting judgment on you so it's just like all these things we're going through we need to be able to evolve being able to press love out of there so much than hate you know when we can do that and heal in every aspect of our life being able to get rid of the things that has hurt us being able to let go of those understand the reason behind the situations we're going through you know not to you know dwell on hurt 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 be able to concentrate on okay i was hurt now how do i heal this how do i recognize it for what it is how can i you know turn that negative situation into a positive one being able to evolve from just you know saying this happened to me this happened to me this happened to me okay yes this did happen but what are you going to do to change this to where it's not affecting you in that way anymore being able to evolve like that in so many cases is it, just a beautiful thing because i'm just reading all this stuff and i'm just like wow <laughs> okay uh, you know that that is a good thing being able to see yourself as a spiritual being knowing that you are in line with your soul agreement to do what you need to do you know time is meaningless you know um things that are in material nature uh nature is meaningless being able to be abundant in knowledge abundant in love those are the most precious things we need to have in our lives and it's just like a lot of us hate because you know oh I, you know i get mad because i don't have any money to do this or you know i need to do that i mean i'm like that you know it's just like i had to get out of that situation because there's like there's people they always say money don't buy you happiness but you know it's like you'd rather be you know crying in a bmw then you know sitting up here crying on a bicycle or you know out in the stoop you know yeah but there's a lot of people that have the most money and they're not happy i've seen people like on facebook and stuff like that it, it's just like all they did is flaunt 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 like if they're going on vacation they had, you know they bought a new car or they got this they got that you know it just makes you look shallow it, to me that really means you to me you're just shallow and it's just like everything is past i said is there anything you're contributing like 
you know, is, is this all you're about? You know, it makes me feel like this is all you're about. This is the only thing you're worrying about to see, you know, who's going to be jealous of you or, you know, oh, I got this, but you don't have that. You know, you have to be able to look past all these things, you know, and I, you know, I sat, I sat up here and say, well, I need to come from a loving place and stop judging them folks. But, you know, it's, it's like a catch one too with the whole situation, but being able to heal yourself and love everything about yourself and the way you can love other people is how we really need to evolve this is how we're going to ascend without casting judgment on people no matter what the circumstance is we really need to be able to do that so understanding this you know we have a duty you know what your spiritual your, your spiritual gift is um being able to use that for the greater good to know that you're contributing to the world's love um, bringing love towards the world that's that's the thing that counts that's the things that matter you know being able to do that and involve in all those places is just like wow being able to be a spiritual being having a human experience i'm like well dang i've you know i've heard that that heard that before but you know it just really took me aback just to listen to it again and it's just like I got it you know I really do because reading all these different things they were talking about it was just like my jaw dropped because it's like if you you know or there's a lot of times where our attitude comes from the situations of how we were hurt how we look at other people because of what situation we were pressed in before instead of coming from a loving place we're automatically judging somebody already so it's just like you have to be able to heal all aspects of your life, being able to find love throughout everybody. And, you know, don't allow yourself to be staying mad at whatever. You just need to evolve from that, from a loving place. So I hope you are able to, you know, uh, resonate with this video. Give me, you know, your, your input and let me know what you feel about the video. And like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, drop me a line um, or two and share give me a thumbs up i'm gonna give my post notification shot out to worst nero uh lost puppy and bear rainbow much love to you send out much love and light and positivity as i possibly can these lights keep flashing across lord jesus <laughs> okay love and light and you're shooting out positivity towards everybody. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, forever loved, and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. So I hope y'all have a blessed, prosperous week, and I hope you had uh, a, a good Easter weekend. And I will see you on my next video. Much love to you. Peace and be wild.